Come here. Come on. Come on. Freeze. Mm. <sighs> this is like you guys. You know where I'm coming from when I say my mornings are such a waste of time. Well, that was up until about 10 days ago when I'd had enough of it and I decided to put a stop to it. I've been reading The Miracle Morning and I've decided to put my life in order. And this is my morning routine, 2019. I'll get up, I'll check my phone, make sure I don't have any pressing DMs or emails, kiss my dog, and instead of staying in bed and staying on my phone for the next hour, I force myself to get up. I know. The one thing I have been doing every single day is making my bed and it's making a huge difference. I hated making my bed growing up and I got like 15 pillows on this bed. I give a little spray just cause it's on YouTube. Go shut off my alarm system. Hobbs is with me, Hobbs is saying, dad, I need to pee. Take me outside, dad. Before I pee in the house. He hasn't done that in a while. He's a pretty good boy. Yo, don't underestimate the Birkenstocks. They are a must have for anyone who's waking up this early, taking their dog outside. So I just let him do his thing. Hates wet grass. He usually just walks around, sniffs around, comes back. He's like, Dad, I'm done doing my thing. But that's a good time for me. It's always quiet out there. It's always nice and silent. So it's a good, you know, five minutes for myself. Then it's time to wash my face. Get the sleepers out your eyes. Let's go. Um, I typically wash my face and brush my teeth. You know what? I'm not gonna even lie. That toothbrush. It's a lifesaver. It tells me how long I need to brush for. In the morning, if you don't have that toothbrush, you brush for 30 seconds and think it's like a minute and a half. But that thing, it tells you when three minutes is up. And if you don't wet your toothbrush before you put it on the pace, you're an animal. I don't even know who you are. And then a little face lotion with SPF 15 because I live in the desert and it's hot. And then you always, you know, you're always a little stinky in the morning. So put on some, some deodorant. Next up, water. Get your water. Get your water in your Denver Broncos cup because they're taking it all next year. And then I start my coffee maker. My coffee maker is a new addition to the house. And I'll tell you what, it's saving me a ton because I used to go get Starbucks all the time. Don't laugh at my empty fridge, I'm never home. And then I do my almond milk, 30 calories, and my almond milk creamer. So no lactose in this house. Get my coffee going. I don't wanna talk to nobody at this point. Then I go out and I sit. Hey Steve. <sighs> Good morning. Now I can talk to you guys. <sighs> so typically I like to sit out here for about five minutes and just enjoy the sunrise. Just start my day off with a little positive thinking, little words of affirmation. Just visualize what I need to do that day. But today, it's kind of ugly, so there'll be no sunrise. So I'll just be sitting here, enjoying my coffee to the sound of construction. St. George is never this cloudy, but it's kind of cool to go out there and just, again, sit, kind of get my thoughts right for the day, visualize. I, I have meditated before in the past. I haven't been doing it lately, and I just wanted to keep it real with you guys. Sometimes I just like to sit, talk with Hobbs. So this coffee mug has a hammer on it. I like to think it's because I'm Thor, or I'm really like just setting the tone for an awesome work day. Or maybe it's just because I'm a tool. Thor for sure. Damn! Yeah, St. George is sunny, 300 days of the year. After that, gotta do some, some household stuff. I don't got a wife, I ain't married. I wouldn't make her do the dishes anyways. I'm not saying that for all you people in there. I wasn't saying that. Next, I go to my Gymshark room, which is also my shoe room, and I pick out my outfit for the day. Usually it's black on black. Today, I switched it up and went black on Hunter Green. <sighs> Who am I? Getting, just getting frisky with it. Picking out some shoes, what's gonna look good? Hmm, am I gonna go with those? Why not? The camo, the camo Adidas with the green shorts, it's a great look. And I gotta go walk across my house to my actual closet, and just like magic, my clothes are on, I got my Gymshark shirt on, I got my Gymshark shorts, I'm looking in the mirror, I spray some cologne, that's called Isimiyaki. I think it's French for you smell good. And then hydrate, sometimes that gets frozen, I gotta show it who's boss. I'm your daddy. Boom, mix up some protein. Who likes protein in the morning? I know I do, protein. And a little bit of green, your greens, your morning greens. I typically get a piece of fruit, something fast acting, some fast acting carbohydrate, some simple sugars in it, get my protein, and I'm out the door. Sorry buddy, hope you come dead. And I'm off to the gym. Look at that sexy truck. So it's about a 15 minute drive to the gym. Um, I would say half the time I'm listening to a podcast or an ebook on Audible, and the other half I'm jamming out on Tady's Butt Rock. And she's loving with that body, I just know it. Woo, good morning! Get to fitness culture. It's about 7 a.m. We're gonna go in for a little partner workout. This is usually how I roll with all my hands full. What was that? You did a great job matching today. I did, I picked this out about five seconds. You can watch it on my YouTube video, subscribe. What does that say on your shirt, bro? What does it say? You are my sunshine? Gymshark Lifting Club in Japanese, I think. Maybe some of you guys can let me know. Exercise one, pull-ups. Three sets, 15 to 20. Second exercise, bend over double arm dumbbell row, 15 to 20, three sets. First superset of the day, wide grip lat pull-down, and pull-overs, 15 of each, three sets. 15 to 20, that's 17. <laughs> yeah, it took about 45 minutes this morning. We'll be back later on for arms. But right now, it's stretching time. Dedicating 10 minutes to stretching. You can like this guy. You guys can find all of our, our training in the Fitness Culture app, so we'll just put that in the link in the description. And uh, you guys can check it out if you wanna be big and strong and flexible. It is 8.22 and I'm getting back in my truck to head home, feed Hobbs, have breakfast. Well, I'll just show you guys. Forgotten about right. you. Get home from the gym and it's time to eat. Not just for me, but for Hobbs too. Hobbs has bougie food that I have to keep in the fridge. Good boy. All right, Hobbs Zeke, Eaton, look who's back in town. 
This guy has a jet lag, by the way. Yeah, it's not too bad. So, so. Well, nothing will cure jet lag like a good breakfast. My breakfast is pretty much always the same. After the gym, I do two whole eggs, two whole eggs. I do a three-fourths cup of egg white. I do cream of wheat, and then one to two slices of toast, depending upon how I'm feeling, because I do two eggs. And I like to do eggs on toast with avocado, strawberries, frozen or fresh, depending on the season. So I do avocado on my toast with my eggs and my egg whites, and then some cream of wheat. These are the day killer bread. They are 12 carb carbohydrates per slice. So all total, I figure, you know, if I do a serving of these, which is 33 grams, it is 24 carbohydrates. So pretty much 24 and 24 for 48. And then you have the strawberries. So not a bad little post-workout. Get some, get some spinach in there and some avocados. So this is one of my higher fat meals, but breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I don't consider that shake and piece of fruit that I had before the gym my breakfast. This is my breakfast. All right, the key to good eggs and not overcooking your eggs is taking them off heat before they are fully cooking. Otherwise, if you fully cook them and then leave them on, they're still hot and they're gonna cook. So I always take them off at about 80% done and then I just let them sit and then I'll have that nice, just barely runny center. If you don't want to runny center, by all means, overcook them, but that's weird. That means Dana is here. Just in time, it's about 9 a.m. Breakfast is just about being ate, about being ate, eaten. Breakfast is done, and I'm gonna eat it as I plan my day with Dana Montana. Morning, oh, hello. Hoss, get in here. Get in, come on. Where's my love? Huh? So Dana also has a YouTube channel. She actually edited the house to her video. She did a pretty damn good job. And also she keeps my life in order. So the house would be a mess. I would, I'd have done dirty clothes. I wouldn't know what day it is. I wouldn't know what's on my schedule. So we go into the office and we plan. Oh, would you look at those eggs? That is perfect. Oh, would you look at those eggs? That is perfect. The perfect eggs on toast. This is the time of day that we go over everything that's on my schedule. And believe it or not, I'm a pretty busy guy. I don't just work out all day for a living. In fact, I've been doing less of that as my career has gotten more and more What's the word? Eventful. But I will say this, I have some great people around me that are making my life so much easier these days. So we're planning, we're planning. I'm feeling good about things. I'm eating my eggs while I'm planning. I'm multitasking, get at me. Who am I? I don't even know, but really it's been a good thing. One of the last things I do in my morning routine after I've worked out, eaten a healthy breakfast, done some visualization, met with Dana and got my day all planned out, the shower. After this, I'll get dressed for the day. And then one more thing on my list. First thing when I hop out of the shower, my hair's still a little bit wet. I, uh, my hair's long, I'm growing it out, but the problem is right now, it's this weird in between stage that I don't know whether I should keep like trimming the sides or just throw on a hat and let it all grow long and just kind of be nasty for a while. But in any case, I did it just a little bit today, just enough that if I, when I go back to the gym, I'm not looking like a ragamuffin, but I'll do a more in-depth hair tutorial video once I get a trim and select like the length that I want to do it. So still in my towel, gonna get dressed, then it's on to the self-development part of the day. All right, last thing I do in my daily routine is I try to read, and again, I'm gonna be honest with you guys about something. This morning routine is something I've done about the last 10 days, and it really sprang out of me traveling, coming home, being jet lagged, just not being on a schedule. So once Dan and I started working together, I thought, you know what, I need a schedule. No matter, no matter what day it is, wake up and do the same thing, that same routine. And I can tell you that exercise, having some visualization time or meditation time, also going out and you know feeling positive affirmations or kind of going over in your head or even writing down what you want to accomplish that day is so powerful. And then obviously we do the planning side of things, make sure the nutrition's on point, drink enough water. And then kind of the last thing I would say doing is reading. So this can be you know personal like self-help reading. If you want to read something that's going to draw you closer to your goals, I'm reading Obtainable right now. It's by my good friend, Dr. Warren Willie. So he's a doctor that I've worked with out of Pocatello, Idaho. And it's a really good book all about kind of, you know, how we think, um, you know, what, what our ideas of healthy are and really how we can obtain that in a way that isn't crazy isn't you know you don't have to do anything you know you don't have to weigh out every piece of, of food for the rest of your life so it's a good book i kind of go back and forth between this and then like some kind of personal training book um whether it's cscs or my nasm i want to get or keep up my certs and i think it's always good that you know you are what you think about so no matter what you're doing throughout the day you are what you think about and i remember i think the most excited i was about training was the times i would read about training books and this one's no different it's more over you know it's more overall health but i can definitely say that my my miracle morning as I call it, because I've been reading that book, My Miracle Morning, um, it's, it's really kind of changed my way of thinking and got me into this place where I actually look forward to the mornings. Now, maybe I'll, I'll do this video in six months and tell you if I'm still doing it, but I love the way I feel um, at the end of the day because I've been so much more accomplished, so much more organized, and I've been working out early in the morning, which has changed my life. So I definitely think that if you're somebody that can put it off, like I work out and I feel better, I wanna do more things. So I figure why not do that You know, within the first two hours of waking up, and then you know, it's, it's almost 10 o'clock, gonna read this, and then my morning is complete. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you wanna see next. Maybe my, my nightly ritual, my supplements, um, it could be my hairstyle, whatever it is, my shoe room. These Thursday videos are whatever you guys want to see that I can help out with. So thank you for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks guys, we'll catch you later.